Want to talk about what's haunting you, or should we wait for a third act flashback? Uh, go f yourself. I've been talking about the dark age of cinema pretty much ever since I started my channel. I even made a series describing what is actually wrong with Hollywood over the last decade plus. Now that Deadpool and Wolverine has debuted and absolutely destroyed the box office, we know that people will show up for a good movie, despite the cameos. But where does the MCU go from here? And have we finally turned a corner and emerged from bad movies? Join me, dear viewer, as I dive back into the raging dumpster fire that is Disney's Marvel. Before we get into this, make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out with continuing to grow and it's totally free. Ever since about 2009 or so, we've seen a steady but precipitous decline in the quality of films. We've been inundated with movies that push some sort of progressive agenda or message in lieu of good plot and good character development. In fact, a huge part of the problem has been lack of good character development. With the new Star Wars trilogy, we've gotten a whole slew of Mary Sues throughout every single franchise. Female characters that are automatically awesome at everything from the start. Having such characters is the antithesis of storytelling because there's nowhere for the character to really grow. There's no central conflict and there's no evolution. Lazy race and gender swapping of existing legacy characters has riled up fans and film producers alike. When all the gingers of the world were upset over the race swapping of the Little Mermaid, fans of the original were lambasted for being racist when in fact they were not. It was a lazy cash grab by the studio without having to put in much work to come up with a new character or a new IP. In Star Wars, we got Finn, which I was very much excited for, but the character fell flat. Instead of writing a cool backstory for him, the producers did fuck all with him. So is it any wonder fans are pissed? The other side of the equation is on the studios, filmmakers, and producers. They have been failing to take responsibility for their own lazy writing. They also failed to take responsibility for their lack of creativity and lack of writing skills. Instead, they put up a mediocre effort by race or gender swapping, push an agenda, probably to cover up for their own ineptitude. But that era may be coming to an end. I do know people who work at Marvel they have cleaned house. They um, quietly, months ago, fired all the producers that would could be labeled activist. Unlike, really? Yes. Unlike Lucasfilm, that is, Lucasfilm is lost. <laughs> They're lost. Okay. That's it. That's what I like they are it. doubling down on all the nonsense. Right. That's you will never get anything good out of out of Lucasfilm and Star Wars. That's it. Kevin Feige recognizes he he even uh, I'm not going to say exactly. Basically, he said that we tried it. It didn't work. He's talking about uh, phase four. Yeah, okay. that's it. We tried it. Didn't work. No Kang. None of this. None of these side characters that don't have the legacy of classic characters. And if Deadpool and Wolverine proves anything, you've heard that phrase. Male and pale is stale. That was that was spoken aloud across studios. Uh, but if you look at box office this year, I would say male and pale is money. For those of you who don't know, Chris Gore has been a pop culture fixture for well over 20 years. I originally discovered him through his appearances on G4 TV, which was an excellent channel disseminating all things pop culture, but most notably video games. I've even interacted with Chris a bit, and he seems to not only be very knowledgeable, but an all around good guy. So when he comes out and says that things are about to take a huge turn, I'm opting to believe him. In this now viral clip from the Critical Drinkers open bar, Chris Gore revealed that Kevin Feige over at Marvel has quietly cleaned house and gotten rid of all the activists. I guess Marvel has grown tired of losing money. They even make fun of their failures in a tongue-in-cheek fourth wall break in Deadpool and Wolverine. Just doing some back-of-the-envelope math, Disney has lost somewhere in the neighborhood of 4 to $10 billion in revenue across its flagship franchises and countless more from declining share market value. As ex-user Princess Fiona McPherson, pronouns F and U, posted on X this week, Disney's portfolio of companies is massive 
and Marvel and Star Wars are only a small portion of that overall conglomerate. Since Marvel is only a small piece of the overall Disney dumpster fire, we've got to take this with a grain of salt, but enjoy the small win when we can get it. There's still a massive portion of the organization that's run by morons, so there's still work to be done. But what do you guys think about all this? Do you think Disney is turning a corner? Or is this just one small win in a war we're losing? Please do let me know down below in the comments. And as always, hit that like button, ring that notification bell, and smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.